So, in my video the other day, I talked about these figures here and how good they were. Um, I paid $15 for the lot. All three of these figures came from that lot. And I got an order last night for all three of these figures. So I've already made $10 of profit on the on just that lot. So that's why I like used Lego. Especially when you find some good figures in there. Another figure from that $15 lot that I'll be adding today to my store. Pieced him together from pieces that were just loose in the lot. And it's a pretty good minifigure. I believe around $7 used. So here are a few of the other um, accessory pieces that were in that $15 Facebook lot. Nothing terribly exciting. Most of these pieces already have lots in my inventory for, so I can just go in and change the quantity. Some pieces, I don't think I have one of these green um, axe blades. I don't think I have any of those in my store currently. And yeah, there's some pieces. I'm gonna spend the next couple minutes adding those. Um, I do believe, well, I found this piece here I know is not Lego. It doesn't say Lego on the inside there. And then this piece, it doesn't, I mean, these don't say Lego. The color seems off on this piece. And it just doesn't feel quite right. And you can see the end has a, a mold mark that's very white. Normally on the Lego pieces, you don't see white. So I'm pretty sure this is fake. And it just, it doesn't feel right. Like, it feels really weak when you try and flex it a little bit. This one feels a lot stronger. So, yeah, this, just a little bit of how I would check to see if something's real or not. Also, there's no comparison like putting it side by side by a piece you know is Lego. And I don't know if it's coming across on camera, but you can see the difference in color there. So, yep, yeah, there's, it's definitely not a Lego piece. All right, gonna pick this order too. So let's see, we got organizer B, drawer five, or compartment five. They ordered one piece in their order. That's it right there, 35 cents. So they paid 35 cents for this piece, plus $2 for being under $2 plus shipping. So they paid a good amount of money for something so tiny. <laughs> so this is my Lego haul from today. Um, got my second bricks and pieces order. Uh, the first one I didn't record any video of. That was kind of one I was just testing the waters on. And I actually have the sheet here from that order. I went through and took the prices I paid for pieces and wrote them down on the side. Some of these pieces I just got for myself. And put down the prices I paid versus what the average sold price or what price I'm going to try and sell them for on BrickLink and came up with my quote unquote part out value. And so my total for that first order was gonna be about 3.32 times. So not too bad, pretty good. Um, some of those parts are interesting ones there. The second order, uh, I'm not sure exactly what the part out value is gonna be. I know I got quite a few different pieces. I'm probably not gonna show everything I got, but figured I'd show a little bit of that but first I got three of these sets from a uh, Walmart not too far away I went out to a family dinner and stopped at Walmart on my way back home in Delaware and found these three sets they were on clearance for uh, $17 I believe the part out value is around 60 so pretty good deal there and uh, I'll try and get those parted out and in my store here shortly let's go ahead and take a look in this Lego box. I already opened this earlier. I was telling my family about my BrickLink store a little bit. My uh, older brother and sister and their families and just 
talking to them. Uh, my nieces and nephews, my younger ones at least, were very, very interested in the pieces that I got. Some of the golden bananas in my uh, earlier video about parts and pieces. I showed some of these. These were the two cent parts. I ordered 200 of them, that's the maximum. Um, so you got a few different things in here. You got some dark turquoise bricks. Not the greatest price, I think. I think it's pretty good now, actually. I think they've actually gotten cheaper since I ordered these. But, um, of course, my store color is turquoise, so I got those. Uh, I got some candles. I think if you got those candlesticks there, I'm trying to get it. Those candlesticks there kind of look like battleship pegs if you get the white. Um, some of these pieces, again, like that gold piece there, I just picked up because I wanted to have one for my own collection. Let's see if I can get this to focus. Got some of the red pumpkins. Um, some minifigure hair. Of course, the manta rays. Some of the manta rays, I believe, they were... Let's see, I have the price over here. The manta rays were... Uh, stingrays were... Oh, stink. They were $1.60, $1.70 something, I believe. And the average sold price is about three something on Bricklink, so I figured that was a pretty good deal. And then the minifigure trophies, got those in a bunch of different colors. Um, we got these window pieces from the Mickey and Mini set. I really like that color and they were pretty cheap, so I went ahead and got those. And the other two cent piece, the shield tiles. I know that's not what they're actually called, but that's what I call them because they look like shields. And so I got those as well for two cents. I got 200 of them. And that's all from that bricks and pieces order. I guess I, sh I can go through the different things. I show the different pieces that I picked up. And again, some of these pieces, I don't, I, I'm pretty sure I thought I had taken these off the order because you can kind of see that they're like 25, 20, 28 cents a piece. And wasn't really something I wanted to spend that much on, but yeah. Oh well. go and that's gonna be it for this video until next time y'all have a good one